Okay, everybody, I'm back with skill two. This is the second of our five skills for this chapter. And we are going to be converting from polar coordinates into rectangular form. Okay, and this one is fairly straightforward, I think. Uh, if you remember that we find a position in polar coordinates by going out some distance r and then rotating to a given angle. So this will be our angle theta, and this length here is the distance r. We want to convert this from that polar form into rectangular form where we go out some distance and we're directly below this point and then we go up, straight up to get to that. So there's our x and there's our y value and that of course is a right angle and that's a key to the whole thing because with that right angle we get a right triangle and with the right triangle we can use our trig ratios. So I want to get x, I want to find out what x is based on theta and r. Well if this is our given angle, this is the opposite side, this is the hypotenuse then of course, it's directly across from the right angle, and then this is our adjacent side. Well, if you remember your Soka Toa, that will tell us which of the three trig ratios to use to solve each of those variables. Well, x is the adjacent side, and I know the hypotenuse is r, so a and h tells me it's cosine. So I'm going to write the equation that the cosine of theta is equal to then the adjacent x over the hypotenuse r. And I just want to get x by itself, so if I multiply both sides by r, I can find that the x var variable is based entirely on r times the cosine of theta. So x equals r cosine of theta. Okay? Then my y value similarly will be the opposite over the hypotenuse opposite and hypotenuse, that's the sine, so I'll write the sine of theta is equal to y over r, multiply both sides by r, and I get y equals r sine of theta, okay? So that's a very simple relationship to understand to convert from polar into rectangular. So as an example, just a quick example, if I had 6 comma 30 degrees, Okay, I would take the cosine of 30 degrees, which is about 0.866. I'd multiply that by 6, and I'd get uh, 5 and a bit. All right, you can multiply it out. And then if I, so call it uh, 5.4, something like that, you can check my math with your calculators. Then if I did um, the y value, that's going to be the sine of 30 degrees, which is very conveniently 0.5 times 6 will be 3. So I could find this spot by going out about 5.4 and up 3, and I'd be at that same location. They are equivalent, all right? They'll be right exactly on top of each other if you do it accurately. Okay, thanks.